AC polyphase system may be of two phase system, three phase system, six phase system. Uh, like in the because of some practical purposes, three phase system is uh, uh, used very much. And the reason behind it is that it has been proved to be the most economical as compared to other systems. So we use three phase AC system. Now the advantages of uh, three phase uh, AC systems are the following. Higher rating. The rating of the three phase machine is always higher. Constant power. The power delivered in three phase system is almost constant. Uh, for example, in a single phase uh, system, the, poly, uh, the power delivered is pulsating or pulsating power uh, is not used for lighting uh, tube lights and uh, motors. So instead of single phase, uh, three phases used. Three phase induction motors are superior to any other motors. Uh, the reason being uh, that they are self starting and the power factor of three phase induction motor is better than that of any other motor. Transmission of uh, three phase AC is more economical. It is uh, possible to transmit more power using three phase system than a single phase system by using conductors of same cross section. Now we will see the generation of three phase EMF. Three phase EMF is produced by three phase AC generator having three identical windings displaced by 120 degree apart. These voltages are produced either when these windings are rotating in a stationary magnetic field or when three windings are kept stationary and the magnetic field is rotating. Uh, I repeat, generation of three phase EMF do tara se ho sakta hai. Teen winding liye jate hai in a magnetic field. Ya to magnetic field ko stationary karke windings ko rotate kiya jata hai. Ya fir windings ko stationary karke magnetic field ko rotate kiya jata hai. Here the figure is made uh, in this. This is the magnetic field, north pole, south pole, and these are the three windings A, A dash, B, B dash, and C, C dash. These are the windings. Uh, now, here the setup is made in this figure. Uh, the magnetic fields are stationary, and uh, the windings are going to rotate. So consider the three identical coils. These all are the identical coils A, A dash, B, B dash and C, C dash. These are identical coils mounted on the same axis but displayed, displaced by 120 degree. This 120 degree ka, ka difference hai in tino mein, clockwise direction mein, in a bipolar magnetic field as shown here. Here A, B, C are the start terminals and A bar, B bar, C bar are the finished terminals of the coils. A, B and C are start terminal and A dash, B dash and C dash are finished terminal, terminals of the coil. When the three coils fastened rigidly together are rotated or the magnetic field is rotated keeping coils stationary. Three EMFs are induced in three coils respectively. The induced EMF in each coil is of the same magnitude and frequency but displaced by 2 pi by 3 radians or 120 degree the second figure shows uh, this is the magnetic coil uh, 
sorry a moving coil armature and uh, these are the field coils here this moving coil will rotate and these field coils are going to be stationary this is the waveform of uh, a three phase supply there are three phases this is phase 1 this is phase 2 and this is phase 3 they are separated by 120 degree phase shift there is will be a phase shift of 120 degree the uh, emf induced in coil a a dash as seen here a a dash this is the coil uh, the emf induced in the coil a a dash is zero and is increasing in the positive direction as shown by v a a dash similarly uh, the other coils will also be zero and uh, in uh, it will as it is it will rotate the voltage is going to be positive and when the direction reverses the voltage induced will be negative